Wei? Good morning, Colonel Ping. Good morning, Commander Bond. To what do I owe the pleasure of this phone call? I'd like to know why a top Chinese agent was trying to contact a courier in Istanbul. Perhaps it's the same reason a British agent was following him. Are you suggesting an alliance? You'll find me at the aquarium in Bangkok tomorrow night. Come alone. It's the only way I can guarantee your safety. Funny. I was just going to issue the same warning to you. Bond here. Good evening, Mr. Bond. Where are you, Ping? We'll meet soon enough, but first, I need you to perform a small task in order to ensure our security. And what might that be? It's come to my attention there is recording equipment hidden in the aquarium. And we can't take the chance of anyone listening in on us. Let me know after you found them and disabled them. floor by the whale tank. The aquarium is now closed. Thank you for visiting, and come again soon. Ping? Is that you? Tell me, Commander Bond, how much do you know about whales? Not much. Enough to know they shouldn't be kept in aquariums. Apart from that, I wouldn't like to end up in one. Then maybe you can understand what it's like to live inside the world's biggest country. 
There are 1.3 billion people living in China today, Mr. Bond. 1.3 billion Chinese who need to be fed and housed and clothed every day, every week, year in, year out. I am aware of the numbers. But perhaps not the implications. Go on. It's not that we're not as smart or as technologically savvy as the West. We invented gunpowder and currency while you were still living in caves. But in every society, there are those who would cheat, those who would steal to gain any advantage. The researcher, industrial espionage. Someone in China was behind this. One of your people kidnapped and killed him. No, something worse. An economic mercenary. Someone who would steal the most dangerous technological secrets and sell them to the highest bidder. Not out of ideology or politics, but for money and power to turn us against each other. But who? Where? How do we find him and stop him? My team was in Geneva, following up on a link to this man. Do you recognize him? No. His name is Rak. He was born in northern Mongolia, on the contested border between Russia and China, and has no love for either. He keeps his money and his mistress in Switzerland. But he operates out of Bangkok. If it's illegal, he's got a piece of it. At first, we thought he was a middleman in all this, but...
Take one more step and you're dead. Throw down the gun. No, just by talking to you, Rock is going to kill both of us.
Get that body to the morgue and find me the other driver. Bond. Good to see you're alive, 007. We tracked your cell phone to Bangkok, but the GPS coordinates haven't moved in six hours. I may be closing in on the people behind the researchers' kidnapping. I need to have Q Branch run a data check on a man named Rack. Banking, business associates. Have them contact me with names and addresses. Will do. But I should warn you. We've been following news reports that the Thai police are looking for an Englishman who destroyed half of Bangkok last night in a car chase. And what makes you think it was me? Do you really want me to answer that question? Can I call you back? There's still no sign of the second driver. Go check the buildings along the riverbank and see if anybody saw anything. Bond, we've located a potential lead to Rack from an old friend of yours called Silk. He owns a club not far from you. We've I'm marking the location on your smartphone you now. Track, we'll find the body. Good. We'll what be well that? paid. CCTV stills of the suspect, this guy needs to be found. There are some very influential parties involved. <laughs> <laughs> We're being well paid to find this guy.
Good evening, sir. Can I show you to a table? No. But you can show me to the boss. He's behind there. My good man. Is there some way I can be of service? I'm looking for a man. What kind of man? Your kind of man. Someone who preys on the helpless, sees the world as corrupt and wants a piece of it. <laughs> you know me too well, James. How on earth did you find me? Well, if you turn over enough rocks in enough cities, you're bound to be under one of them. You know they ran me out of Saigon. Was that after or before they ran you out of Athens? Or was it Ibiza? I lost track after Johannesburg. Can I interest you in a girl? I'll settle for some information. Same old James. But what makes you think I'm going to give up Rack without some kind of compensation? Because I know you, Silky. And I know that you don't care whether Rack lives or dies, but you wouldn't mind having the 20% back that he probably skims from this place every week. Rack has a secret boathouse on the Chow Pryor River. But I'll bet you won't make it there alive. I'll take the bet. Add it to what you owe me from last time. And good day to you too, sir. There's an Englishman on his way to see Rack. My money says he won't make it. And you know how much I hate to lose my money. Don't let me down. Rack's got the police out looking for the British agent, but we've been told he'll be heading this way. Stay on your guard and... You! Rack's got the police out looking for the British agent, but we've been told he'll be heading this way.
Rax got the police out looking for the British agent, but we've been told he'll be heading this way. <laughs> See, he didn't hold it.
It's over, Rack. You're finished. I know about the kidnappings, the bioweapons, the missing researchers. I'll give you one last chance, Rack. You should have quit while you had the chance. Welcome to your final destination, Mr. Bond. You're in Burma. Your last stop. The end of the line. The place where your sad story comes to an ugly end. So how does it work, Rack? What do you do? Fly your kidnapped victims here and torture them until they give up their corporate secrets? Take a very good look at this knife, Mr. Bond. It's platinum, encrusted with precious stones and diamonds, designed to elicit the most exquisite pain when I use it to eviscerate a man and skin him alive. You talk, Mr. Bond. You give up your secrets. Sooner or later, they all do. You could kill me, Rag. But MI6 will send somebody else. Either way, you're as good as dead right now. Wait. Oui. I'll be there as soon as I can. Get my helicopter ready. We're going to Bangkok. When I return, Mr. Bond, we're going to string you up in the yard and bring all the prisoners around to watch. After they see me cut your tongue out, it may help loosen theirs.